Welcome to Inside the Vandals, a weekly look at men's and women's basketball, brought to you by the University of Idaho School of Journalism and Mass Media. Inside the Vandals is next. Welcome to Inside the Vandals, I'm Braden Kane. And I'm Dylan Ladding. And we'll be bringing you week by week coverage of the men's and women's basketball team as they enter Big Sky Conference play, as well as sitting down with some players and coaches for key interviews. I sat down with Coach Don Verlin of the Idaho men's basketball team as we discussed the season thus far and the rivalry between them and Eastern Washington. Hey, welcome back to Inside the Vandals. I'm here with Coach Don Verlin. Thanks for uh, thanks for being with us. Well, you're welcome, Dylan. <laughs> so uh, take us back um, to non-conference play. Uh, how do you how do you see improvement? Uh, what did you see out of the team? Well, you know, obviously uh, our non-conference schedule was very tough uh, this year, and we had a lot of really tough road games. And I thought our team did exceptionally well in in those conference games. Uh, you know, we had some great wins. Obviously, the one marked here at home by WSU, uh, beating WSU on this court by the margin we did was was a marquee win for us as well as our win at West Western Michigan was a was a great win in the preseason. I thought during the preseason we got a lot better. Uh, we got uh, a lot more together as a team and we're starting to figure out who we are. So you were without uh, Perry on Calendrit um, all of last year so talk about a little bit about how you've seen improvement from him and incorporating him back into the offense and into the team in general. Well, Perion's been a big a part of our program for a long period of time. Um, you know, like you said, he was he was hurt all last year, uh, but you know he was still part of the program, and, and you know he never really missed a beat. Uh, he started a little slow as the season started, but not, once he knocked the rust off, uh, he's played very very well, and we're happy to have him back. Going back to like the start of actually conference play, so you guys had. Um, two road games in which you split. You had a tough one against Northern Colorado, and then you went up to North Dakota and, and beat them. Uh, so talk a little bit about that, about the, uh, the toughness of the schedule conference play. Yeah, obviously to start um, two games on the road, to start conference play against the defending champions in, in North Dakota, and then probably the um, most surprising team in Northern Colorado in our, in our conference. Uh, you know, I thought we responded really well. We, we, we come out of the gate right after Christmas, right before New Year's, um, and played very well at North Dakota, get a 17-point win there, and then go to Northern Colorado, you know, 36 hours later, and play a heck of a ball game. And basically, it's a one-possession game, end up falling by four points. But I thought our guys battled hard, they competed hard, and, and you know, that's what you're looking for at this time, is, is how hard you play. And, 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 you know, it's not always about wins and losses, it's, it's, it's how hard you play and how well you execute your game plan. For sure. Um, so, so this past week, you guys hosted um, Sac State, and it was a very physical game. So take, uh, and you guys were down by 11 with under eight minutes left. Like, tell me a little bit about the comeback, like, walk us through it. Yeah, as you said, Sac State, uh, very well coached, very physical basketball team. And, and um, you know, what I would tell you uh, about the comeback is, um, just to take you back down 11 with eight to go, I, I thought our guys locked in and really guarded, uh, got, got some key stops, and allowed us to go on a 15-0 run at the end of the game. And, and we found a way to win that basketball game. And that's just a tribute to the guys in the locker room of, of how much they're committed to our program, how much they're committed to, to doing what we do. And, and I, was, I was really, really proud of, of our guys, the way we fought back and found a way to beat a good Sacramento State team. So when you guys played against P, uh, against Portland State, um, you, you guys got beat by one at the end. You guys were leading for the majority of the game. Like, tell me about like, what happened in that game. Well, tough game. Uh, you know, Portland State is another one of those teams like Northern Colorado who is, is definitely a surprise. New coaching staff, they play a complete different system than they did a year ago. And, and what they do is they, they basically press you every single possession of the basketball game. And I thought our guys did a great job of handling their pressure. We got a number of very easy shots. We moved our ball extremely well, made 11 three-pointers in that game. And, and it was a back and forth game uh, all game long. I don't think any team led by five or more. Uh, you know, the, and then the, the bottom line is they made the plays going down the stretch. And we, we had our chance to win. We didn't finish the game like we'd like to or like we're normally accustomed to doing. But you got to give them credit. They found a way to win in a tough environment. And, and what we've got to do is we've got to flush that down. We've got to let that game go and move on to the next one. So um, 
So you guys out rebounded Portland State, and as well as you out rebounded a lot of teams this year. To talk about the importance of rebounding, so with a guy like BJ Blake, who's actually leading the conference in rebounding. Well, first of all, BJ's having a great year uh, rebounding the basketball. I think he's averaging over nine uh, per game, and that's just a tribute to him going and getting it and and being relentless uh, to go into the boards. Uh, uh, you know, we're a very good defensive rebounding team. Something we worked on right from day one is, is rebound block out and, and chasing the ball. Our guards are good rebounders, and, and that's what gets us that 7.5 rebound margin per game. And, and it's something we've kind of built this program on is, is defense and rebounding. We've been rebounding the ball excellently all, all year long. And, and, you know, I've challenged our guys. I'd like to get a, be, a little bit better in, in the offensive part of the rebounding category. But the defensive one, which is most important, we're doing a great job in so you face Eastern on Friday. Um, so like, what do you, what do you, tell me a little bit about the, the matchup, like historically, I guess, and and coming up. Well, obviously Eastern's our travel partner. They're our, they're our closest um, school in proximity to, to the University of Idaho, and in over the last four, three, four, five years, I guess you could say it's become a rivalry game. Uh, this year we moved it to a double header where the women and men will both play uh, on the same night, which which I think is great for for both both uh, fan bases, Eastern as well as ours. And so I think what's, what's great about that game is, is it's a tough matchup, it always is. They know because when you're, you're somebody else's travel partner, when you watch film on upcoming opponents, you get all of, we get all Eastern's games. And so we see them time and time again as the same for them. They see us all the time. So there's no secrets in that game. And what it comes down to is who plays the hardest, who works the hardest, and who executes the best. And, and that's what's always fun against playing against Eastern. So talking about like execution, how, like what what kind of difficulty do you see in like pretty much game planning for a guy like Bliznik in terms of getting him off the three-point line and slowing him down? Yeah, great question. Uh, Bosn Bogdan Bliznik is one of the best forwards in this league. You know, he's all league the last year. And, and, you know, I'm not going to give away my game plan and tell you what we're going to do. Uh, but what I will tell you is you've got to do one heck of a job uh, guarding him at all three levels. You've got to, uh, probably most importantly, is you've got to guard him from beyond the arc because he, he can make the three. He's really good at driving his ball, and he can do that left or right. And he's very good at getting himself to the free throw line. And, and that's what makes Bogdan so tough. And so um, what we've got to do is, is, is just make sure we do a very good job. We don't miss the details when we're guarding Bosnian Bussick. And so um, obviously this, this game's going to be at Reese Court up in Cheney. But um, with the new arena, uh, now for the new arena, like, going to be built, how excited are you for it? And, and what, do you, what does this mean for the future of the program? Well, obviously very excited and, and very excited that Idaho Central Credit Union stepped up and, and gave us that big gift. I mean, uh, $10 million, that's a lot of money. Uh, and that's a heck of, that's a, heck of a commitment, uh, not only to our basketball programs, men's and women's, but to the University of Idaho. Uh, you know, how it helps our program moving forward is, is it gives us a place to recruit to, it gives us a place to teach to, it also gives us a lab where our guys can come in and shoot for the most part 24-7 and, and, and those are things that are desperately, whoops, desperately needed in this program. Um, you know I think the other thing that that people need to realize is it helps all of our other sports as well. You know we're in the Cowan spectrum today but you know and now it's set up for basketball but when the newer facilities built football, track, tennis, all those winter sports or fall or spring sports if you will and if they're in season if they're not in season is able to access this facility and will be in another facility. So I think it not only helps men's basketball, I think it helps all the sports programs. It also is great for the students. Uh, you know, we'll be able to host concerts in there, different activities that will allow the students to have a better student experience at the University of Idaho. Well, that's all the questions I have today. So thank you so much and good luck on Friday. Thank you. You know, Dylan, we've really seen that rivalry heat up the last couple of years between the Vandals and Eastern Washington. You know, it, it really has heated up, and, and this year it's a doubleheader at Reese Court and Cheney, and the women play first and the, and the men play last. Speaking of the women, I got the chance to sit down with guard Michaela Ferenz as she has been on a hot shooting streak as of late and also talked about how well the team has been playing. Welcome to Inside the Vandals. I'm Braden Kane, joined now by guard Michaela Ferenz for the women's basketball team. Thanks for joining us, Michaela. Yeah, thank you for having me. So uh, to start it off, uh, you know, you were a coach's daughter growing up. How did that impact your game overall? That might be different from 
people who didn't have that same upbringing? Yeah, I think it impacted me a lot. I mean, I always had two coaches basically to go to. Uh, it wasn't always easy getting critiques from my parents and stuff, but uh, it helped me a ton. Like they, they taught me to shoot. <laughs> and so, yeah, it was, I could definitely had an advantage, I think, over other girls my age, I think. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you're coming off a hot game against Portland State, 39 points in that game. Do you think that confidence definitely carries over into the next game when you play like that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I'm playing with a lot of confidence right now, but Eastern is a really tough team, and I've played them. We've played them a lot um, over the last three uh, seasons, so uh, I'm just going to have to keep it up. I think it will be a difficult game for me to get going. <laughs> okay. Speaking of playing Eastern this Friday, um, how does the atmosphere and maybe your mindset change when it comes to a big rivalry game like you have this Friday? Yeah, I think it, the pressure's on a little bit. Uh, I think it's really cool that we're doing a doubleheader with the men. I think we'll have uh, a lot more fans. Uh, the pressure will be on just because it is Eastern and we do have a really good rivalry with them. Uh, but I think we play better under pressure anyways. Okay. So um, how does it, when you play teams close like Northern, Col Northern Colorado over at the top of your conference, what does that prove to you guys as a team, you know, that you can play with just about anybody? Yeah, that um, first week of Big Sky, we played the two top teams in the conference, and I think it just showed that we can play with anyone, and the conference is wide open right now. Uh, so I think we're excited to play them again since we played them so close the first time. As of late, you've been shooting 41% from behind the arc and averaging 23 points a game. How do you stay consistent with your shooting from game to game? Uh, I mean, my team makes it easy. They're always giving me good passes. Uh, we run a lot of sets to get open looks, and so we just got to keep doing that. Yeah. I think that's all the questions I have for you. Um, Easy enough. Thank you for joining us once again. Um, good luck this Friday in the doubleheader and Cheney. I'm, I'm Braden Kane, and this is Inside the Vandals. You know, 39 points by Michaela's rent. She's on another planet right now. She's on fire. She has been shooting the ball, the ball very well. 41% from behind the arc and averaging 23 points a game. You know, you gotta like our chances against Eastern Washington this Friday with her playing that well. well that's it for this week on Inside the Vandals. I'm Braden Kane. I'm Dylan Ladding. And we'll see you next week. This year, University of Idaho presents The Digital Media Club. Push your limits, explore your creativity. Are you looking for a chance to excel? Create a real campaign and watch it be implemented. Do you want to solve real problems with real clients? We do. Join the ad team.